Hello Leo, I am here with a general reading for the sign of Leo. So anyone with the sign of Leo strongly in their chart um, could resonate with this. Ooh, I can, I'm getting into your energy and my... I'm hitting it, some kind of energy here. Um, for those of you, anyone with Leo strongly in their chart could resonate with this message. But please remember, um, we are all different ages. We're all moving into different experiences and moving through, through different depths of experiences. And not all the stories will resonate with all the Leos. It's just not feasible that all Leos are in the same life template. So um, please be discerning as you listen to this message to make sure that it's actually resonating with you and it fits with how you're feeling. And, um, and we'll move forward from there. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space. I'm happy to have you just as you are in this moment. Um, let's go ahead now and move forward into this general energy, into the current general energy for this group of Leos, for this group of Leos. Spirit, please help me understand what is happening for this group of Leo people. For this group of Leo people, please help me understand what is happening for this group of Leo people. There you are. What is happening for this group of Leo people, please? Help me understand what is happening currently. What is happening currently? What is happening currently for this group of Leos? What is happening currently? The energy is pretty clear, Leo, so I'm going to leave the cards. I'm going to put the cards straight up. Um, I know they came in kind of sideways, but the energy feels clean to me. It feels like, um, I don't know, it, I just feel like I can do it this time. Let me go ahead and look at the incoming energy. The next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks, um, it would be arrogant of me to put a time frame on this, knowing that um, I really do not have control of the time here. Everybody is moving at different speeds, but I have asked Spirit for information about the next immediate future. So hopefully that helps you in some way um, as we move into this next energy and, and kind of read um, and build a forecast from the energies here. So let's go ahead. What is coming in? What is Leo stepping into in the next immediate energy? What is Leo stepping into in the next immediate energy, please? What is Leo stepping into in the next immediate energy? What is Leo stepping into in the next immediate energy? What is Leo stepping into, please, in the next immediate energy? What is Leo stepping into? What is Leo stepping into in the next immediate energy? What is Leo stepping into, please? What is Leo stepping into? There's a lot of, now I've had two sixes flip over. They're not falling out. They're not coming out, but they're flipping over. Um, this means you're working towards harmony and stabilization in some way. What is Leo stepping into? What is Leo stepping into, please? What is Leo stepping into? Guidance now. Guidance now for the sign of Leo. Guidance now for the sign of Leo. Guidance now for the sign of Leo. Guidance now for the sign of Leo, please. Yeah. Strong guidance is coming out here. All right. Give me a moment. Let me get into this energy. The wheel of my chair is very close to my tripod, so let me resettle myself here. I don't want to jolt you around as I'm getting into some kind of story. I'm procrastinating on getting in. Leo, I see you here strongly in this energy, which tells me that you're in your strength right now. Um, you're doing something that is natural for you to do, whether it is um, determining a route to go in or solidifying some kind of work that you're doing. This is, um, you're, you're in, even though you might have some discomfort here and some uneasiness, 
you are in, I feel like you're in, in a place now where you have the strength to do this um, carefully. You have the strength to do this very effectively. Uh, I feel like you're feeling good about this situation. Well, I, I think you're feeling good about your own self, um, self strength, your own ability to move through this. So you know that you have the skills and the capacities to be effective in whatever this is. And part of this is there is some sort of decision here as you move forward you're you're working on something whatever you're working on has a creative element but but it is about your stability ultimately even though it is a creative there is a somewhat of a creative energy here um you're at the beginning of this process and what this this activity will do that you're partaking in is bring comfort and stability and abundance into your reality so yes, it's creative and yes, you're at the beginning of something, but you know that it has potential to be quite prosperous as you move into the future and you're willing to really put the work in now. Whatever you're needing to learn or be trained on or whatever you're needing to work with other people on, um, there is an energy here of um, working with others, um, learning from others. There is a there is a kind of a humble energy. There's a humble energy. Um, but there is a very self-empowered energy. This is a beautiful manifestation energy. It's an energy of willingness, open-mindedness, um, ability to get to work, ability to put things into action, um, but also be flexible and adaptive. It's a beautiful manifestation energy. This is a beautiful energy. For this group of Leos, you're in a very be beautiful place now um, in your in this in this activity or in this project or whatever you're working on here with the three of pentacles it feels really healthy it feels really good good to me um, i feel like you have the skills and the capacities and the self-empowerment to um, be quite effective and successful in whatever this is um, and now you have the seven of cups here next to a higher font so there is some sort of whether it's with a community whether it's with a company whether it's within a family unit um, there is some sort of options here um, you could be coming into some sort of new territory here for yourself. Whatever this is, this Three of Pentacles, is expanding. It's opening. So if it's a relationship, that relationship is building. If it's a product or a service or some kind of... Um, some type of work that you're doing, that work is growing and expanding and it's bringing in new options for you. There's some decisions here that you, that you're needing to make. And I think you're in um, with the seven of cups. That's the energy of discovery of options, delving into each options. You could be even looking at numbers for each option, looking at who your teams would be or, or how um, each option would affect you as you would move into the future. So you're really delving into the options here and trying to determine um, what would be the best path to go. I think for most of you, you're in the beginning energy with this. I think these options are kind of just beginning to open up for you. Um, the higher font energy is here. And this to me is more of a company or a community or a family energy. Um, you're, you're trying to figure out how this is going to work within your family or how this is going to work within your community or within your workplace. You could be in negotiations now or begin to think or beginning to think about negotiations that you will be having with some kind of corporation or sponsor or some kind of funding resource. Um, I think you're in the beginning of planning for how you're going to continue the development of whatever this is. Um, it could be an engagement that could be an option or some kind of a new contract or a promotion or some kind of agreement that you have with a group of people that you have with a group of people could be that are all heading in the same direction that are all like minded. So this can often be like a university, a church, um, a, a large company, like large companies can have that same energy around them where everybody is working towards the same goal. Um, this could also be around society and the structures that society takes on to help um, create um, a harmonized energy within a society. This can also be the brackets and the baskets that really enfold a relationship. So um, whatever this is, it's growing, it's ascending, it's building in value or building in capacity. And now there are new you're starting to begin to see how the options, how the pathways could really build out from here. So this is a very expanding energy and I feel like it's, a, it's at the beginning point of the expansion. Let's go ahead and see um, what will happen as you step forward into this in the next upcoming future. What will happen 
as Leo steps into this. What will happen as Leo steps into this? That darn Five of Cups. I mean, I get the Five of Cups all the time when I go into my own energy. Um, we always are working to lighten the threads of energy from the current energy into the past. So um, as you're moving forward in this new beginning, um, there is an energy here of, of actively and intentionally disconnecting from past occurrences past situations, past hardships. It is um, on your mind. It is on your mind and it is a part of your upcoming future. This five of cups energy. We also have the eight of swords here with the nine of wands. So I think that you're not, go you're, you're going into this situation with a clear lens, right? You're going into this situation with your eyes wide open. Um, you, you're understanding what could happen. You're understanding um, the pitfalls. You're understanding what challenges you could have. You're understanding that there could be bumps in the road. And um, I think that this is could be even triggering you in a way to feel it's almost like um, now I'm not a doctor. I have no degrees in, in humor, in human behavior or in any kind of medical field, but I am a survivor. <laughs> I am a life liver and a life changer. So um, what it feels like to me is you could even be triggered, um, almost like what they talk about with CPTSD or PTSD, where um, there has been trauma in your past. And especially with CPTSD, you could have like um, waves of emotion or waves of fear, or waves of anxiety, and you're not really sure like why you're even having them. There's nothing in particular that would create this this issue within you in this particular moment but you have these waves of emotion and it almost feels like that i think it's something that um you're you're working you're working your way through some kind of a dense energy um that all of us have that within our our conscious minds and in our subconscious minds of past traumas and and the scars that 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 those traumas have left within our egos and within our consciousness um that can create resistance. See, even as I'm in this energy, it's harder for me to speak. Um, so it can create, it, it can create resistance from within us. So during minute in my solar plexus is, is like, really, I can feel like a big hole in it. So during meditation and during those quiet moments, it might be helpful to really work on for yourself um, true affirmations, not affirmations where you're in the morning and you're getting ready and you're um, getting dressed and you say these affirmations to yourself as part of your routine. Not like that. This is like a deep um, affirmations, like when you're in deep meditation, when you're in sort of like a trance, if you can get yourself there, if you can get yourself into quiet meditation and go deep within, go a little bit deeper within the mind and try to say the words and work on saying the words smoothly. I believe in my capacities. I believe, yeah, even as I say that, like it, it's, it's hard. There's resistance here. So you're working through resistance and each and every one of us has resistance. It is a part of transformation, but work on and, and really connect in with your guide. Ooh, there's something with a throat chakra. I'm in this. Oh my gosh. Work on saying those words to you, to yourself while you're in a deep meditation um, to try to change your core beliefs, those core beliefs that you were probably taught as a young child, um, not anyone's fault, but something where your parents were or whoever raised you with their energies were at their time of life, what their beliefs were at the time of life when you were young, whoever taught you and they could have taught you out of kindness. They could have taught you out of such incredible love for you. But at that time, um, there, there is some sort of belief that you acquired or some time of teaching that you heard that is deep, deep, deep down within your subconscious, within the core of who you are, that you can access when you're in deep meditation. Um, I have done it. I have changed a lot in my subconscious. I will do videos on this in the future. I'm creating another channel and I will do videos on this in the future where I've absolutely changed my life working with the subconscious mind. Um, but you can go into a deep meditation, get in kind of a floating energy if you can and say the words over and over again. I believe in my capacities. 
I believe it, it's even hard for me to even come up with things to say in this. So there is something in the subconscious. There is some sort of, oh man, whatever affirmations that you feel that when you say these that pull at your stomach, get really quiet and get a list of affirmations off the website, off the internet and say affirmations and, and feel which ones pull at you. Feel which ones cause you to feel a cavity in your solar plexus and in your womb chakra, in your abdomen, which create um, a pulling like a, like a, um, like a spasm or some kind of emptiness in your solar plexus and your womb chakra, because there is resistance here for many, many of you. So um, say affirmations and, and try to figure out, okay, which affirmations, which subconscious belief is really causing some type of slow down for me. And you will feel the ones that you will somehow know the ones that are important to you. And for those affirmations, whatever it is, I am beautiful. I deserve to be in a beautiful and healthy love relationship. I am excited about future abundance and I am ready to receive it, right? Whatever it is for you to get deep in meditation and then within your mind, you don't say it out your voice. Well, you can, but it wouldn't really work if you're in deep meditation. But in deep meditation, when you can sort of access the fringes of the subconscious, begin to say these things. Um, this is how you work with the subconscious. This is how I have been taught by my guys to do it. I will be releasing more information about it, but I think that it could help you in this situation. Okay. Nevertheless, nevertheless, there is slow, stable movement forward here that I see. Slow, stable movement forward. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Now this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, um, but it is slow movement forward. You could have some kind of an offer or some kind of a partner coming in here for you too with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, if it is someone that you're merging with or that you're connecting with, it's someone that makes very slow, stable progress, someone who's not afraid um, of, of working slowly towards success, someone who prefers to make very careful decisions and move very slowly, but um, whatever they do, there are strong, um, strong rates of success. So they don't move without understanding where they're going and why they're doing it and the, and the benefit of doing it. If there is not a person that feels like that for you, whew, I'm getting out of that five of cups energy. So if there's not a person who feels like that for you, there, that is the energy that you're slowly moving forward in. So I think that you're slowly moving through the five of cups energy and it does take a lot of strength to do that. I like that the strength card came out in the current energy that tells me that you're in a real strong position and you understand the value of what, of what you bring to the table. And I really like that. I think that strength energy is going to help you push through this five of cups energy. There is a foundation here that's being created. There's a new um, shelter that's being created for you, um, whether you're creating it or there's an opportunity being offered to you or there's some kind of work that you're doing. But what it's doing is creating a foundation for you um, in which you can take further action and down the road and create abundance or bring in love or whatever it is that you're working on. The wands energy, remember, it's about passion and action. And so whatever you're doing here is creating a foundation, it's creating shelter, it's creating a basket for you to live within, for you to work within, for you to take action within that will bring you um, a platform that will help you to further continue to be successful in your journey. So it can be a relationship that's building. It can be a life path that's building, a, a career that's building for you. Whatever it is, it is a good energy. It, it could also be the 1111 energy, which is a significant connection with another person, a significant connection with a with the foundation. So whatever you're doing here, I think this is a soul connection to you, something that you feel really pulled to do. That's why the Four of Wands is here. It's right next to the Ten of Cups. So um, it's something that brings you a lot of joy and happiness and fulfillment. So there could definitely be a relationship that's create that's that's getting off its feet here or getting started or a new job or some kind of life path that you're on or a business that you're starting that's really bringing you a lot of bliss, enjoyment, excitement about life and um, emotional fulfillment, feeling fulfilled, feeling satisfied, feeling happy with your day, um, feeling excited about the activities that you partake in during the day and feeling good when you go to sleep at night, um, that you have done a good job, that you have affected the planet in some way, um, that you are 
a, a valuable asset to the world that's around you. So you're, you're headed in the right direction. I think you're beginning to start to see some of these things come together for you. The, the thing is here that there is some sort of a choice here that you're making or that you're going to need to make in the future. It's an action choice. So it's not that it's it. So I feel like you do have some kind of clarity around what this is, but now there's a decision to be made but about how to do this. What would be the best way to do it? So I think as you move into the future, you really narrow down some of these options, some of these um these um, alternatives that you have, you narrow them down to maybe two or three, and you really then have to decide, okay, what's the best way to move forward here? Do If this is a love relationship, do I continue on as is, or do I ask for some changes? If this is a job, um, there's something here that you're needing to decide on how to implement. If this is a new business or a new project, the same thing. Deciding on how to go to action, how to implement. Um, this can, the two of wands can often be life changes, life path changes, um, but it doesn't have to be, we're looking at immediate energy. This could be something that's only happening to you this month or over the, or the next couple of months. So it doesn't have to be an epic life story. For some of you, it is, but for others of you, it's just something that you're dealing with right now. Um, there is a need here for you to take action and decide what's the healthiest way to move forward. What, what are, what is the worst case scenario if you move forward in, in path one? And what is the best case scenario? And what's just the average scenario? And kind of try to imagine that as you move forward. How would you imagine it to be? Make sure that you have a clear mind and make sure that you're thinking, um, very rationally so that you don't allow the ego, the fear center to overtake, um, your thoughts. So make sure that you're being, um, rational in this and you're, understanding your value and your skills and capacities. I, the strength card is here. So I think that you're able to do that. And then for the second choice, um, do the same thing. Think about what would be the worst case scenario if you did this, what would be the best case scenario and what would be the average middle of the road scenario. And just like let yourself in your imagination walk down these paths. And that's, that's how I um, I take the time to really sit back. Um, I don't think that there's any decision here to any real pressure to make a fast decision either. And um, fast decisions sometimes for me in my life have come back to bite me, um, bite me in the buttocks is what they do sometimes. Um, so I think that there's not really any kind of need here to make any kind of fast decision, especially because you have the Knight of Pentacles here. So you can take your time and you can investigate these options. You can look deeper into each one of them. You can talk to people. You can research products, research software, whatever you need to do. I think you have the time. <coughs> I think you have the time to make a decision, but you will be um, urged to make a decision at some point or another. And it does, this decision does have to do um, with the shelter that's around you, this four of wands and your future happiness. So this is an important decision to make. Um, whether it's a life decision or a temporary decision, it will affect these these elements in your future. So I, um, I think that this decision that you're making, I think in the extended, we'll dig deeper into the wand, to, into the two of wands. I'll probably do a mini reading on it to see if what we can get out as we go deeper, what we can pull out of this energy. But this is something that will affect your future success and will affect your future happiness. So it's important to be mindful of that and to be discerning and to be um, logical um, about this and really make a decision that will be in your, in your highest good for your, in your, in your best interest as you move forward. Um, I do see a little bit of struggle with this because we do have the eight of swords with the nine of wands. So um, you, you're being slightly defensive and that's okay. I, I'm in that energy sometimes too, um, being slightly defensive about, um, your happiness and you're trying to overcome some kind of cycling of thinking that is perhaps not necessarily all the way true. You do have the five of cups that you're working through. So this is the same kind of energy. It's the energy that I was getting in later. We get into the eight of swords energy because of perhaps the way that we were taught when we were early, early, early in our youth, before we can even remember, it could be the way our parents thought it could be um, in a relationship that we've been in that really could have diminished our, our um, ability to understand our worth um, in, in relationships. We, you could be struggling with worthiness. Are you worthy of this? Are you worthy to receive this? Um, and as I say that, like my solar plexus clenches. So there, there's something here, um, that you are struggling with 
um, in your thoughts. So it's causing you to be somewhat defensive and, and really on the offensive here. I don't think it's necessarily going to hurt anything. It could slow you down a little bit. Um, it could cause you some, some restlessness, this Eight of Swords. But I see you moving forward. I see you being very steady with this Knight of Pentacles. Um, I see you understanding the importance of this choice here that you have to make with the Two of Wands. Um, you're understanding that this choice that you're making on how to do this, on how to implement this, um, will affect your future happiness and your um, future foundation. So I don't see you um, being irresponsible or being impulsive. Um, you might be going just a little bit slower than normal, but I don't see any real rush either to be fast. So I think this is all going okay. Um, the work here is going to come in the work um, of the ego, the work of the fear center, the work um, that you have to do to clear out old energy that you have learned. So the ego sometimes is old lessons that we've learned that no longer apply. Um, there it's when we go through learning, it's for me, learning is layers upon layers, just like wounding and trauma can be cemented in us in layers, almost like an onion. Our learning is also layered on top of layers as we move forward. So um, what you might have learned, what your ego might have learned 10 years ago within um, a relationship of what not to do, what to be worried about, um, that was that was taught to you because of the level that you were at then. 10 years ago, did you know as much as you know now? Were, were you as strong as you are now? Were you as wise as you are now? You weren't. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly certain that you weren't. We learn all the time. We, we gain wisdom and enlightenment all the time. Um, sometimes we don't realize how far we've come in just 10 years of time. So um, what, whatever that ego learned back 10, 15 years ago um, no longer applies today because your soul is at a different place in its learning. So sometimes the ego really struggles to change and adapt and transform to fit the level of where the soul is at. And that is just part of transformation. So this is just a dense energy that you're moving through. Um, it's part of the journey. And I think it's not stopping you, although it could slow you down a little bit. Um, I see you still taking action. The Nine of Wands is still taking action. Remember, Wands is passion and action. So um, you're on the offense here, and I really like that. Um, you, you could feel a little bit of a restriction within your thoughts or how you feel about yourself, but you're overcoming that with this action. You're not running away. You're not hiding. You're getting to work, and you're pushing through this energy. It's And actually, Leo, now that I really have this full picture, this is a really beautiful um time frame for you. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be super easy, but I'm saying that this is, um, we're seeing a picture here of some very beautiful people who are passionate and um, really working hard to make beautiful change in their lives. And we see that it's starting to happen. We see you taking action. We see you being flexible and adaptable and pushing forward. We see you persevering. We see you being careful with your decisions. We see this, and this is inspiring. This not only will lift you, my friends, but it will inspire the people around you. Um, and they will see the hard work. They will see what's going into this. Um, and I think it will inspire them to, to begin to make changes like this in their lives too. Um, let's go ahead and look at the guidance here before we, before we end the reading and see what guidance is coming forward. And then before we go, I'll look to see what energies I'm going to dig into in the extended. So let's look at guidance here for you, Leo. Empress, that's beautiful. Knight of Wands in reverse. All right, we can take that. Nine of Cups in the upright. Beautiful. Emperor in the reverse. Judgment energy over the top. Okay, let me, let me use the tarot of the 70 day, 72, 76 doors and clarify the emperor in reverse. Please help us understand why the emperor is in reverse. Please help us understand why the emperor is in reverse. Ace of Cups. Ha. Huh. Please help us understand the Knight of Wands in reverse. Please help us understand the Knight of Wands in reverse, please. Please understand the Knight of Wands in reverse. Please help us understand the Knight of Wands in reverse. King of Wands and King of Pentacles flipped over. 
This is this is taking action in your exterior world, that's for sure. Queen of Pentacles now flipping over in the upright. Two of Swords. God damn, two two of Swords. There's some kind, did you notice the tone change? Like as an empath, when I get in these energies, they affect me. They affect my thoughts. They affect how I say things. And I, it's like my energy change. And I'm like that damn two of swords. <laughs> there's something here. There's something here that is, that th there's a kind of energy that you're pushing through here that is created, that has been created out of past pain. Um, I think that this is becoming clear to you and you're understanding that there's not really any kind of a need to rush forward. There's not really any kind of a need to be impulsive or uber fast here. Um, I think you're seeing this, you're seeing the big picture of this, you're understanding it. Um, you're, you're realizing it's because of, of pain in your past, anguish in your past, stress and anxiety from your past. Remember, this is the Empress here. This is like a Libra or Taurus type energy with the Empress. Um, this is inner balance. This is strength. Um, this is um, fire and passion within. This is a, the Empress is a beautiful warrior, warrior or what, how do you say it for a woman? Warrioress? Warrior woman? She, she can be male or female, but this is inner balance. So, um, she's connected in with Gaia. She's connected in with mother earth. She is a warrior for the earth. Um, she, she fights for those who need protection. She fights to protect the earth and all the living beings upon it, but she fights differently than the queen of wands and the queen of swords. She fights with love. She fights with kindness. She fights with understanding. Um, she's very balanced. She's very passionate. She can implement. She finds clarity. This is a, this is the most, this is a very high frequency for a, for a feminine energy. It is a frequency of success. And um, it, it is a beautiful place that you're at, Leo. I felt it earlier and I'm glad this energy came out because it gives me a chance to really sit in this energy just for a little bit. We have the Knight of Swords here in, in reverse. And I think it is um, realizing now, um, seeing the truth of this urge that you have um, to maybe be make a quick decision or rush forward or something there is some sort of urge that you might have that you're understanding why you have it you're understanding that there's not really a need for it you're just really um ma managing and maintaining that beast within that you have um each and every one of us has a beast that roars within us at times and i think your beast is really tempted to start roaring um but you have a good handle on this um, you're, you're understanding how to restrain yourself. You're understanding these processes and you're moving forward in, in a way that will bring you long-term change and future abundance. That's why the Knight of Pentacles was there earlier. Um, we do have the Knight of Cups here in the upright. So there is some sort of wish fulfillment here for you. Um, some kinds of dreams are coming true for you. And this is because you have worked hard to focus on what brings you personal personal fulfillment. So you are making changes in your life that bring you internal health and wealth and vitality. So this is a um, very necessary component to finding success and to realizing our dreams. It is the um, sometimes very difficult energy of focusing on our own internal happiness, on our own internal health. And when we do that, when we build our internal happiness and our internal health, remember the exterior world mirrors how we feel internally. So the world outside of you begins to manifest the same way you feel inside. Now, it doesn't happen automatically and it doesn't happen without effort. So you still have to make the changes. You still have to go through the implementation process in a real way, but you can begin to really manifest beautiful realities for yourself um, when you work from the inside out. I really like that. Um, we do have the emperor here in reverse with the ace of cups in the upright. So um, I think this is about self-love and we can dig deeper into the ace of pentacles. Um, there could be an incoming emperor energy here. We do have the empress energy here in the upright with the emperor energy in um, the emperor energy in the, in the reverse. So there could be a partner here coming in for you. Um, there could be, um, new um, loving situations and oh, it's just what I said new loving it, it situations in your exterior life in the outward life um, the remember the empress is inner health inner well-being the inner warrior and the emperor is outer health 
outer abundance, the outer warrior. So um, with Ace of Cups coming in, possibly as self-love, you could be bringing, um, or new love, you could be bringing the same kind of love that you have found within yourself. You could be bringing it in to your environment outside of you. So I'm definitely going to dig deeper. In fact, I'm going to pull one more card in the Ace of Cups. How can I not, you guys? How can I not? So let's pull one more card here on the Ace of Cups. Tell us more on the Ace of Cups, this new love, this new inspiration. Tell us more about the... Whew. Jeez, what is this? Six of Wands with the King of Pentacles. There could be someone coming in here, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, but whatever this is, you're you're stepping forward in a new way. You could be stepping forward into a new relationship, into a new job, into a new project, into a new business. Um, you're being seen. You're being respected here. Um, it's not something that's hidden. It's not something that's hidden. So for many of you, this is your exterior world coming together in a very beautiful way for you. Eight of Wands, activity, communication, positive happening. Eight of Wands is a very positive action energy. I love the Eight of Wands. I mean, personally, whenever I get the Eight of Wands, I am in love with that because um, I love movement forward. I love it, but I'm also Aquarius. So um, sometimes I can move quite slowly because I think about all kinds of things and I can get ca all caught up um, in, the, in the clouds. Um, but this is a movement. This is happening. This is incoming. Whatever it is for you, this new Ace of Cups, whether it's self-love or whether, whether it's new love or revitalized love, it is coming forward. There could be someone new coming in here straight away or new success coming in here straight away depending on what is here. And I think since this is a general reading, um, I don't think they want to leave anyone out here. These are general energies. You can feel the Ace of Cups in a person. You can feel it in a situation. You can feel it for yourself. You can feel it within a family. You can feel it with, with a new child. You can feel the Ace of Cups many different ways. And as soon as I say this is new love coming in, what does it do for the rest of the people? Ooh, and all of a sudden I got kind of feisty there. So there, there is a little bit of feistiness here. Well, it is the emperor and the emperor can get kind of crotchety, especially when the emperor is in reverse. So just know that like, um, you could be somewhat defensive and we did have the nine of wands coming out. So you could be a little bit grumpy, um, when you're in this emperor energy or this emperor that's coming in could have a slight grumpiness to it. Um, cause I did get a little bit grumpy there, didn't I? And we have to remember I'm in your energy. I'm an empath and I will mirror back to you what I feel in this energy. 10 of wands, page of cups. Yeah. You're ending some kind of difficult cycle here and you're gaining new inspiration. I think you're quite defensive about it and protective about it. Um, you don't ever want to go back into this 10 of wands again. Like you're done with this 10 of wands, this long burden that you've carried alone and by yourself and it's heavy and it's like you haven't really been in control of your own destiny somebody else has been and you don't ever want to go there again um so that's the guidance that's coming out here that's kind of what you can expect the next few weeks and um, we do have the judgment energy here i want to um dig a little deeper what time is it 38 i want to dig a little deeper into this there's something a major turnaround here a second chance at something a major turnaround here um, and look at this hum humility and um and wonder and excitement and um refreshing energy that's here it's almost like a rebirth here this judgment energy Something beautiful is coming in. It's quite positive, I feel. There's something here that's being worked on. Something here that's being changed and being worked on. There's, there's something here that you have worked on for a long time, and you're finally now letting go of, of something and moving forward and stepping into a new frontier. Um, it's worrisome and it's difficult. Remember the eight of swords and the five of cups, but you're willing to put the work on, work in and you know it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, you, you're understanding now that you need to step out, step forward, um, step into a new frontier somehow with the four of pentacles. Um, and you're and you're allowing yourself to do that, doing that. You're surrendering in with the, with the four of pentacles here over the top of the judgment. Four of Wands. See, there we have the Four of Wands, a new foundation. You're stepping into some kind of a new commitment or opportunity, a new job, a new project or something here, a new relationship here with the Four of Wands, perhaps. You know it's going to be a little bit of work and you know it's going to take some time, but um, you, you're trusting in this or you're 
if you're willing to, to work on this. And there's the Empress here over the top of the Emperor. So look how she is landed like this. So it's like you're working on bringing this in. See, it, it's still a little bit of work to go here, but she's here. She's here. Both the Emperor and the Empress are here, and the Empress is here twice. So um, I think this is really building now, and it's starting to gain some steam. And I think that um, it might take a little bit of time, but you're working on something really quite beautiful here, Leo. Okay, um, let me look at what I'm going to dig into as I move into the extended. I'm going to dig. I'm going to dig into the two of wands here to see if I can get the differences in the two paths, and maybe that will help you. Um, there's a lot of energies to look at. Let me see what I want to do. I want to dig deeper into this emperor here. See what this emperor is. And of course, I want to look at the four of cups and the ten of cups. Because we have the four of wands twice. We have the emperor here and we have the empress here twice. So I think that there's something with the emperor that we need to dig into. And then I'll look at the people around you and see if we can get some more information about how the people around you feel um, and what we can expect from them in the future. All right, my friends, I hope this has been helpful. I wish you all the best as you move through this. Remember, we're looking at a short period of time. And um, again, um, not a whole lot can really happen over that period of time, unless it's a huge tower. So some of you could be dealing with smaller situations. Some of you could be dealing with life situations that just going to depend on how it really resonates with you. Thank you, my beautiful friends. It's always a, a pleasure to read for you, Leo, and I wish you all the best. Thank you.